Jason, I think you must have gone through every emotion possible this evening. Ultimately, it's ended in disappointment. I mean, how would you try and assess that? Um, I, I, it's I'm disappointed, but also proud in the in the same breath. And I just think, in terms of the disappointment, is being that close to to get into the final, 30 seconds away, and then you know, we, we we let ourselves down. And I've said that in the change room about just having to go that extra yard to probably affect the person on the ball is going to cross or the one who's going to mark, um, going to pick up the player that ends up scoring. I said it's just that extra little bit that you need to dig in, uh, the way we manage the game to see it through to to get into the final whistle. And I think that's that's the sort of disappointing thing on it in terms of how hard we worked to get back in the game, to then go in the lead. And I think it was, I mean, it's a hard, it's a hard one to take. Yes, penalties is a lottery, but I just think that in terms of what we put in, it should, I think we should have got more out of it. Players will, will take a lot from this game. Is that bit of game management the biggest thing? Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's the thing I, I put on the board before the game. It was literally about the way that we manage the game. It was about how we, how we get our um, professionalism and seeing things through. And I've mentioned it all the time, and it's... I repeated the things I sort of say over the course of the season where in terms of games, no matter how good or bad you play, fine margins give it a difference and that could be just that little bit of lapse of concentration or or a set piece goal, things like that. And that was part of us tonight. It was the the set piece that we wasn't marking. It went down to a bit of a, a, a sloppy clearance that led to that. And then the, the last goal. I mean, we didn't get tight to the person delivering the ball. We wasn't picking up people in the box and it's always us that beat ourselves, never the team that come out and that will play us off the park and work hard to get everything and, and make us look a bad side. It's always something that we do wrong, which allows another team to, to get the advantage of us. But like I said at the beginning, it, it's proud because of what we showed in terms of being 2-0 down. It shouldn't have taken us 2-0 down to get ourselves going, but the way we reacted, the way we responded in, in getting ourselves back from it, going 3-2 up, but also over the course of the season. It's disappointing that we didn't get the next objective in terms of getting to the final and winning it. But in terms of what they've all achieved this year as a group and also individually, which I've said to them all the time, is you, you'll get your individual rewards. But it's about how you all do it as a group. And I'm proud of what they've done this year over the, from the start to now. As you say, on the flip side, as well as the disappointment this evening, the hell of a lot of, hell of, a lot of positives that can be taken, particularly coming back from 2-0 down in a a minute or so, especially when legs must have been so so tired at that point. Yeah, and I, th I said that's that's where you have to you have to work that extra that extra yard and push yourself, push your teammate, making sure that we work hard to keep hold of what we've got and not give them an opportunity to get back in the game. And I said that's the difference that from this level and going into the first team. It, it it makes a big difference. That's the difference. Like for us today, losing a semi final or in a league losing a game and that's a relegation or losing a cup final. So I said there is the importance of what happens here is, is an even probably a bigger importance when you're in, in at first team level. Just looking ahead to next season now, we've come sort of within a whisker of getting to the final. Does that give you and your staff and your players that determination to go one step further next year? It's the same. Like I said, we're going to be, this season's finished and if four competitions we're going to be in next year that again the objectives are going to be the same we want to go and win everything that we're competing in and like I said to some of the boys in there where we're losing a couple that are moving on but think about what they've achieved I said there's, there's a group of the players there that, that have won the league four years in a row some of them have got the national championships but not at this level so for us yes it's one step further and it's a case of us still looking to, to fulfil our objectives of trying to win all the competition that we enter in Wow.